is your favorite breast cancer babe here to talk to you about my LASIK and PRK surgery that I had about three weeks ago. So if you're wondering if PRK or LASIK is right for you and you want to know what other people's experiences have been having the surgery, watch this video. I'm going to tell you. So like I said, it was three weeks ago that I had a touch up. So first off, I had LASIK surgery about 15 years ago. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm getting old. Anyhow, and I had no problems with my LASIK. And um, I needed a touch up maybe after like five or six years, but I liked wearing colored contacts, so I didn't get a touch up. However, chemo made my vision <laughs> way worse. So my prescription was like negative one when I started chemotherapy. And by the time I was done, and now, it's like negative three point something. So it totally jacked my vision. So I was like, okay, time to go get a touch up. Anyhow, I kind of have some issues with the doctor's office. I wish they would have told me. So I'm going on a three week vacation in a week from today. And they were like, oh yeah, you'll be fine. There should be no problems. Well, I'm not fine. And my vision is horribly blurry. If I try to look at myself in the camera, I can't even see like my face in detail. I'm just a fuzzball. My computer screen's a fuzzball. My smartphone, my, my cell phone is a, is a fuzzball. Everything's fuzzy and it's driving me nuts. But I have a newfound appreciation for people who struggle with their eyesight or who are blind, um, which I already had a, I already had a appreciation for them. I just, I've always been like, oh my gosh, thank you for my eyesight. It's, uh, I don't know what I would do without it because I'm dying even just not being able to see my computer screen. So anyhow, um, what to expect the day of surgery took seriously like 30 minutes like from the time i met with the doctor and the time i was done but i was probably at the surgical center for an hour and a half super quick super fast came home i really wasn't in too much pain in fact i wasn't really in pain at all just discomfort like a lot of pressure on the eyes and um, i had to wear these awesome black um glasses around my head the whole day i even went to a party that night a family party that night with my glasses on it looked super cool and um, they gave me painkillers, but I honestly didn't need them. Like I felt pretty good. Uh, I slept fine, everything was great. Um, however, as the days went on, LASIK is supposed to like kind of be pretty great vision like immediately thereafter. I mean, they say like two to four weeks, like you could maybe be a little fuzzy, but you should be like 20, 20 pretty quickly. However, my experience is that I am super fuzzy in my LASIK eye, which is my right eye, and then I had PRK, in my left eye. And the reason we did two different kinds is just in case there was any kind of complications um, with the PRK that I would at least have vision in one eye. <laughs> but I'm fuzzy in both eyes. PRK does, they did warn me, oh, it could take two to four weeks for your vision to kind of get normal and sometimes even a couple of months. So I guess I was warned, but holy cow, I didn't realize I was going to be one of those people that it takes months. So there are moments where I think, why in the world did I do this surgery? I, I was fine wearing my stupid contacts. However, maybe if you ask me in three months from now, I'll be really glad that I did it. But right now, I'm not super happy with the results. I went to my doctor a couple days ago for a follow-up appointment, and he said that my cornea is like a golf ball right now, like lots of little divots. And he said um, that I don't have enough moisture in my eyes. And so I was like, I have followed your instructions to the T. I did everything I was supposed to. I'm like, my eyesight is my most prized possession. I promise I would not not follow the instructions. But anyhow, he kind of didn't believe me. He's like, I want you to start putting them in every half hour. Do you guys know how often putting eye drops in every half hour is? That's really often. And um, basically, by the end of the day, my eyelashes are coming off, my makeup's all gone, and it's not pretty sight. But I guess the things we do for our eyesight. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to the day when I don't have to put eye drops in every half hour. And then I'm flying on an airplane for probably 15 hours. I'm going to Israel, Egypt, and Jordan, and I'm super excited. Next week, a week from today, woohoo! Um, but anyhow, they were saying that um, there's lots of complications with PRK and aircraft, like if you go too close to the surgery because it can really dry your eyes out. And he's like, your eyes are already so dry, you need to be putting drops in like every 15 minutes. I'm like, oh my goodness. So I wish they would have told me that uh, when I went in for the consultation because I did tell them, I am going out of the country on October 5th. Will I, if I get the surgery on September 7th, will I be okay? And they're like, oh yeah, you'll be totally fine. So FYI, if you have any major trips coming up, if you have anything planned where you just really want to be able to see, I would not recommend doing the surgery um, 
a month or even two, um, two months before that. I would make sure you just don't really have much going on or at least nothing major. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be fine on my trip, but it will be an inconvenience and slightly annoying when everyone's like, look at that pyramid. And I'm like, what pyramid? <laughs> just kidding. It's not that bad, but it feels like it sometimes. However, I have a feeling this might just be like pregnancy and like having a baby, which I've never done, but I've been told that childbirth is H-E double hockey sticks. However, no one ever talks about that because they're just so happy that they have the baby. So I'm thinking that everyone loves LASIK and everyone goes, oh my gosh, it's so wonderful because they forget about the transition phase where your eyesight's fuzzy and you are wondering if you're never going to be able to see normally again. So I'm hoping that that's the case. So FYI, some things to expect if you're going to have LASIK or PRK uh, so you don't have any surprises. And anyhow, thanks for watching. I'll keep you updated. I'll let you know in a couple of months if my eyesight's come back or if everyone's just going to be fuzzy for the rest of my life. Uh, prayers that they aren't. However, there are worse things in life than a fuzzy vision. So I shall not complain. All right. Like and subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye.